Yes. Uh, in this video, we are going to see the next algorithm in our algorithm series that is finding the minimum and maximum value of the given array. So uh, let us take this array here. These are all the indexes. So I have given the index here. These are all the values in the respective position. Now we are going to find the maximum and minimum value in this unsorted array. Uh, sorry, in this sorted array. So how you will be finding this the minimum and maximum value. This is a straight algorithm where uh, here max equal to initially we set the value um, both maximum and minimum equal to the first value which is nothing but 22. So here when you see that initially what happens here max and minimum. Let, let me write it max as well as min also equal to the value 22 that is a of 1 which is the thing but then we start search start from 2 to this so it is n minus 1 so now here in this if class we check whether a of i now a of i is 2 a of 2 here is it greater than maximum if it is greater than the maximum then maximum will be that value but here now it is minimum so the maximum remains the same okay now in the next if class now after this this next if class is executed if a of 5 which is nothing but 13 is it less than the minimum previously minimum was 22 okay so just for easy understanding i just write 22 so in this a of i is this so is it less than if it is less than the minimum yes now it is less than the minimum so now minimum becomes 13 so a of 2 a of i is equal now a of 2. So that will be right. Now in this value minimum is found and maximum is found. Now again i becomes 3. So in this case 3 it checks a of 3 is greater than maximum. a of 3 is this. So is it greater than the maximum? No. If so, so, if so only the maximum will be uh, uh, assigned this value a of i. So here it is wrong. So the, then the next if class also will be executed if a of i a of i is now what a of 3 that is this is it less than the minimum is this less than the minimum is this is it less yes now minimum becomes minus 5 so a of 3 that value is another and so on so when it exudes so uh, finally the when the whole thing is over all the things now maximum is now what is the maximum here it, it becomes 60 and the minimum value is nothing but minus uh, 8, I think, is, is when it uh, uh, finally comes, our value will be, maximum value will be 60 and my minimum value will be minus. It returns this value. Here, A is the array which we are passing to this uh, function and N is the number of elements, max and min that will be found after finding this, those two values will be returned to the main program. So, max and min will have this value. So now, this analysis of the straightforward method. This is the, called the straightforward method where there is no complex uh, algorithms are involved. Straight, each element is checked and then minimum and maximum is assigned. So in analyzing the time complexity of this algorithm, we have to consider the number of element comparisons. Here, this algorithm requires 2 into n minus 1. n minus 1 is because we start from uh, already 1 is assigned, so it starts from 2. So that is why it is given as n minus 1. So n minus 1, if you take this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 values are there. So 9 minus 1, it is 8. 8 into 2, 16. 16 comparison. Why it is 16 comparison? For this one comparison, for this another comparison. That is why it is called 16 comparisons we have. So uh, there will be minimum uh, is the best worst average curve will be the 2 into n minus 1 and immediate improvement you can do an immediate improvement by making that to be else that is only if this fails only this statement will be executed so we can replace the contents of for loop in this case now the best occurs when the elements are in increasing order the number of element comparison is only n minus 1 because we, uh, if we include the else statement, either this or this. So anyway, 2 to n only. So which is nothing but n minus 1. Co n minus 1 comparisons only there. 
the worst case occurs is the element are in decreasing order. In this case, the number of comparisons will be 2 into n minus 1. Now, let us take the algorithm here. This is the algorithm. Now, uh, maximum, this is for a recursive algorithm. What we have seen is said to be straightforward algorithm where you just, a for loop is there, only if class is there. But here we are going to do a recursive algorithm. First, if what are the values which you are passing? Initially, the procedure is initially called with the maximum 1 comma n comma x comma y, where x and y are unknown. When the execution is over, x and y will consider, x will consist of the maximum value of the array and y will consist of the minimum value of the array. So here, 1 and n is nothing but for, for initial value and n is a uh, n is the number of elements in this array. So if you take this 1 and 9, so we will pass, let us say 1, we call it 1 and 9. So let us write like a recursive because this, uh, in this we are going to call the recursive algorithm. So here, uh, first let us execute this algorithm. When if i equal to j, when i become j, see like this, when both are equal, i and j, here whereas i is 1 and j is 9. So this is skipped. Now next this will be checked. If i is equal to j minus 1, when it will be? When i, uh, say for example, 1 comma 2. 1 comma 2 is, so this is j. So j minus 1 is nothing but 1. So in that case only, this will be executed. That is, when i equal to, then this will be executed. Only the minimum and maximum will be checked between these two elements. Else, we go here. What? So these statements, now we have 1 comma 9. So all these things will be escaped. Now this else spot will be executed. Mid equal to i plus j by 2, which is nothing but 9 plus 1, it is 10. 10 by 2, it is 5. So now what happens? Now maximum, this will be recursively called with the value i comma mid. Mid is now 5. So 1 comma 5, we don't know the next two values, max and min. So let me write it as comma x comma y because we don't know the values the same way here x comma y we don't know this well likewise all these things then i will i'm going to substitute the value so let's imagine all these things have the next arguments next two arguments as x and y in all these things okay so max min i comma min which is nothing but one comma five then max and min then the next statement will be max min mid plus 1. What is mid plus 1 here? It is 1 comma 9. Again, the mid is 5. So, 5 plus 1, that is 6 comma the j. j is nothing but 9 here. So, that will be, uh, that will be uh, function call will be done and it will be put in the memory stack. So, now I, we have represented this as like a tree. So, instead of a stack, we are representing it as a tree. So, if you see that, so this will get executor and then here okay now we will see the next one now we will see the next one so now it calls again so what happened here uh, maximum now this this again recursively calls itself. So here, when it calls this, what happened? Uh, 1 plus 5. Here, again it checks here, i is not equal to j. And i is equal to j minus 1 is also not. Because uh, 1 minus 4, j is 5. So j, 5 minus 1 is 4. It is not equal. So 1 is not equal to 4. So here again, this else statement is done. Again, the mid value is calculated. So 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 by 2, it is 3. So 1 comma 3. And here again mid plus 1 which is nothing but 3 plus 1 it is 4 comma the high value is 5. Then again it goes there now it checks it is not equal to 1 comma 3 is not equal likewise i equal to j minus 1 it is not equal to 2. So again it comes here mid plus 1 now, 3 plus 1 it is 4 by 2 it is 2. So 1 comma 2 and here uh, mid plus 1 it is 3 comma high value is 3. So like this. Now again, uh, same way here also. 6 comma 9. 6 plus 9 it is 15 by 2 it is 7. So here 6 comma 7 and here 
then x uh, six, uh, 7 mid mid plus 1 is nothing but 8 comma the high value is 9 now it start executing with this uh, now here it goes here again it checks here y equal to j no this statement is not true so now it comes here what is it i is equal to j minus 1 yes because when 2 minus 1 it is 1 so 1 is equal to 1 now this statement is uh, executed now what happens here we check whether a of i equal to a of j. So, whichever is greater and lesser accordingly we assign the value max and min. Now, when it happens what we do is here first will be the maximum value. So, between 1 and 2 here 1 and 2 maximum value is 22. Then minimum value is 13. So, that will be assigned. Then this will get executed. So, now what happens here 3 comma 3. So, now it is equal to this. Since i is equal to j, so this statement will be executed. Now, what happens that min max and min both are equal to uh, that a of i, that is a of 3, which is nothing but minus 5, comma minus 5. So, both min and maximum will be equal to uh, this, uh, this pointed by this 3, that is a of 3. Then, now, uh, such space is only this. Now, it will be starting exit 1 and 3. So, 1, 2, 3. So, here it will take this value and this value within this which is the minimum value and which is the maximum value that will be assigned here. So, now when you see this here maximum then max according to this this statement will be done. So, now when you see that uh, uh, here among this minimum maximum value is 22 and minimum value is minus 5. So, that will be assigned here. Okay. Now, among this, this will be executed 4 comma 5, 4 comma 5, this will not, this is not correct. So, it will execute this. So, what happens? For, since these two are finalized, then only from this, the sorting takes place. But here, it has to execute. So, 4 comma 5, it checks whether what it is. Here, it will be equal to this, i equal to j minus 1 because j is 5. So, 5 minus 1, it is equal to 4. So, now this statement will be executed, which is nothing but now again it will do the minimum and maximum between 4 and 5. Here, 5 has the maximum value. So, first 15 and then it is minus 8. Okay. Now, this is over. This is completely over. Now, uh, 1 comma 5. This 1 to 5. So, the execution takes place between this and the maximum value among this is then here. So, what happened? What is the maximum in this? It is nothing but 22. And then what is the minimum in this? It is nothing but minus 8. So that value will be assigned now. Now here, it, this cannot be done because the right subtree has to be evaluated. Let us go to its leaves. So now when we take this uh, 6 comma 7, again this is not executed but this will be executed because 7 minus 1 it is 6. So when i equal to j, uh, when i equal to j minus 1 this statement will be executed so what happened 6 between 6 and 7 the maximum value is 60 and minimum value is 70 that is assigned again between these two the same thing i equal to j minus 1 get executed so between 8 and 9 which is the greatest it is 47 and 31 okay now here it will take this between these two 6 to 9 already max value is found so here it shifts max equal to max so this will be assigned so 60 and 47 which is maximum it is 60 so 60 will be placed and between these two minimum 17 and 31 which is minimum which is nothing but 17 so that will be assigned as the minimum value here now 1 to 9 now 1 to 9 is there between these two these two sub problems Already we have assigned maximum here, maximum, minimum, minimum. So here what will happen? Yes, it will find the maximum. What is the maximum value? 22 and 60, it is 60 is the maximum. Then between minus 8 and 9, 17, minus 8 is the minimum. So finally when the, when the function is executed, the thing is over, it returns the minimum, maximum value and the minimum value. So this is how the recursion works. 
and here what we are dividing is we what we are seeing is we are not just seeing the algorithm we are seeing how the dividend concrete takes place so initially the problem is a bigger problem which is again further subdivided divided in the middle it is uh, uh, based on some that is middle value is found and it is divided then again further it is divided and so on till it cannot be further divided so for that we have given already the class base class this is said to be a base class these two are said to be a base class so based on that they are evaluated and then with this value the previous it, the solutions is applied to the previous uh, call and so on and finally we get the answer so this is how uh, we do the dividend conquer method in finding the maximum and minimum of the given array.